So this time we're doing volume of tapered solids. Now rather than give you some wordy explanation, I'm going to show you a few tapered solids. A pyramid, like the pyramids in Egypt, is a tapered solid. A cone, like an ice cream cone, or in this case an upside down ice cream cone, is a tapered solid. And there is no limit to the types of tapered solids that we can have. This is a trapezium-based tapered solid, or a trapezium-based pyramid. You can see we've got a trapezium as our base, and then it works its way up to a single point at the top. So these are tapered solids. Now, you can think of them as having a parent that is a prism. So let's draw the parents of these. The parent of a square-based pyramid is a square-based rectangular prism, or a square-based prism. Um, you can see that they have the same length here, the same length here, and the same height, and the same height, or at least I'm telling you that right now. The parent of a cone is a cylinder. They have the same uh, diameter or radius. They have the same height as well. And for this weird-shaped uh, trapezium-based pyramid, we have a trapezium-based prism. Same dimensions along the uh, trapezium and the same height, the same height. Now, why am I talking about these weird shapes? There is a relationship between this shape and this shape. And if you can find the volume of this shape, you can very easily find the volume of this shape. So a bit hard to read here. The volume of a tapered solid equals one third of the volume of the prism. So if you want to know the volumes of any of these shapes, just think of its parent prism, find the volume of the parent prism and divide it by three or multiply it by one third. It's the same identical thing. So let's go through these very quickly. So let's consider this shape right here. I haven't put any dimensions on it. We might get too confused with that right now. If I want to find the volume of this, first I find the volume of this which would be equal to the area of the base, the area of the base times the height, times the height. But I don't want to know the volume of this, I want to know the volume of this. So once I know that, I'll just multiply it by one third. The volume of that is one third of the volume of that. All right, let's put some dimensions on it. All right, so it's four centimeters by four centimeters, with a height of five centimeters. So the volume is gonna be equal to one third, four times four, times the height, times five. Okay, uh, and then calculator. 26.67 centimeters cubed, let's assume it's centimeters. Now, not to labor the point too much, but I really wanna show you, this is four by four by a height of five, and so therefore, four times four is 16, times five is 80. The volume of this is 80 centimeters cubed. If you divide it by three, you'll get the tapered solid that can be contained within it. This is the same deal. If I wanna know the volume of this, I simply find the volume of the prism that would house it, that it could be contained within, and then I divide it by three. So the volume is one third area of the base times the height. Now, the area of this base is going to be pi r squared, because it's a circle, right? So pi times 3 squared times the height, which is 6. This bit is going to get me the volume of that. Multiplying it by 1 third is going to get me the volume of the tapered solid. And there we are. There's my volume for my uh, cone. Now, People will give you formulas for cones, right? They'll tell you that the formula for a cone is one third pi r squared times height. I would prefer to just tell you about a single formula because then it works for everything, even weird stuff like trapezium-based pyramids. I've put some measurements there, same formula. The volume is equal to one third times the area of the base. Now the base in this case is a trapezium. So we know that that's going to be um, A plus B, so 4 plus 6. Uh, we need to multiply that by 1 half and then multiply it by the height of the trapezium, which is 3. Um, 1 half, 4 plus 6 times 3. And then multiply all of that by the height, which is 5. 
All right, uh, and so then just get that into our calculator. Just need to be careful here. It's the area of the trapezium times the height of the shape, and that, that'll give us the, for, the volume of this, and then multiply one third, and that'll give us that one right there. And there we have it. That is the volume of that tapered solid. So if you can find the volume of any prism, you can find the volume of its matching tapered solid.